Hi, welcome to Angel Property Managers again. Now, this time I'm going to share with you something you may not be aware of, and that is in August of 2016, which was just last year, there was a court case that went before the Supreme Court. And in that court, it was decided, it was called the Osaki case, and it was decided that tenants would no longer be held accountable for accidental damage. Now, the reason this came about is because a house caught on fire due to a person in the property leaving something to boil on the stove and went away to attend to their children. Now when the house was obviously severely damaged and there was an insurance payout in this instance, however the insurance company decided to take the tenants to the tenancy tribunal. Now the tenancy tribunal found in favour of the um, owner and the insurance company that the tenants were accountable under the Residential Tenancy Act for damage to the property. However, the tenants took this matter to the district court, where the district court found in favour of the tenants. Now this went backwards and forwards until finally it went through to the Supreme Court, or it might have actually been the Court of Appeal, uh, where they decided that this was not an intentional situation and that this was an accidental occurrence and that the tenant should not be held accountable for this. Now what does that mean to you as an owner? Well that means that if a tenant um, accidentally breaks the door handle or makes a hole in the wall or damages you know, the garage door, breaks a window, any of those things, we have to prove that it was deliberate. Now obviously um, they may say, oh I slipped over and that's why there's a hole in the wall or um, you know, I slammed the door and that's why the frame is busted uh, and that's difficult to deny. So we have to be very clear now as to what we gauge to be accidental and whenever we go to a tenancy tribunal or we're claiming costs out of a bond, if a tenant contests that and we do go to the tribunal we have to prove. Now obviously if we have many holes in the walls we can say that's deliberate because many holes is obviously not an accident. But if we have only one or two and a tenant claims they're accidental, chances are they're going to get off that and they're not going to have to pay for that. So this is something you as an owner need to be aware of. It is definitely now law, there is nothing we can do to change it. There are foots, um, things happening before into Parliament to look at a, a, um, a line that we can draw, like if a tenant drops um, a wine on the floor. Now they would claim, well it was an accident, it fell over, or um, and it's a red wine and it's left a nasty stain. However, one could say that that's careless. And so there are some slight definitions that we as um, a property management company in, in contact connection with other property management companies are looking at um, going through the legal process to look at a more defined uh, way of judging accidental versus um, carelessness. So that's just some information for you to help you. Once again, always, always consider getting your property professionally managed because we are the experts. We know how to define accidental versus deliberate. So please give us a call, Angel Property Managers.